Hey, what up? It is your girl MD and welcome back to my channel. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so before you head out. So we always talk about things we should put on our hair, things we should be putting in our body to benefit our hair. We've talked about this on my channel before, but it was a really long time ago, so I felt like it was a good time to circle back around. How there are certain things that we can eat that is going to benefit the health of our hair, help it grow, and help it flourish. So I guess this turned into a what I eat in a day video. Everything that I'm going to be eating today, there's going to be at least one thing on my plate that is going to benefit my hair. Of course, I'm going to break everything down for you and let you know the benefits and why you should be incorporating these things into your diet. Let's get into the video, but definitely let me know if there's something that I mentioned in this video that you already eat on a regular. Started working out in the morning again, but I don't always work out as soon as I get up and I be hungry. So this is like a pre-workout breakfast. I'm going to be having some plain Greek yogurt, and if you have had that before, you know it tastes like cardboard. So to spice it up, I'm going to be drizzling it with some honey on top and then I'm going to add some walnuts as well. And here is my favorite part. So I'm taking a cup of mixed berries and I'm going to put it in a pot and I'm using about five packs of Truvia, but you can use regular sugar if that is your preference. And then I'm just gonna take a spoon and work it around a little bit on a medium low heat. In less than five minutes, you're going to start seeing some juices flowing and that is the goal here. The longer you let it sit, the more liquid that you're going to get. Again, I'm only doing this for like less than five minutes. So the fruit is still cold. It barely is on the heat long enough to warm up. Then I'm going to take the fruit and add it to the yogurt as well. Side note, I put the berries in a cold pot. So the pot isn't like preheated. I like to keep some extra juice on the side, so I put it in like a little mini cup so I can add it as I go. Guys, remember I am not a food blogger, so do not judge the presentation. <laughs> this meal is going to be beneficial for our hair. So berries are loaded with beneficial compounds and vitamins that could promote your hair growth. Naturally, they're high in collagen and vitamin C. Vitamin C boosts the scalp's circulation. And we all know that leads to healthy hair growth and they are strong in antioxidant properties which helps protect the follicles from damage berries are also going to help aid iron absorption low iron may cause you to be anemic and that can lead to hair loss also the body uses vitamin c to produce collagen collagen is a protein that helps strengthen the hair to prevent it from becoming brittle and breaking Greek yogurt is packed with protein and also has an ingredient that helps with blood flow to your scalp, which is going to promote hair growth. We also have vitamin B, which can even help with thinning hair as well. Last up in this meal is walnuts. Both walnuts and almonds are a great source of biotin, B vitamins, omega-3s, and fatty acids, protein, and magnesium, all which strengthen the hair, cuticles, and nourish the scalp. Adding nuts to your diet can help in reduce thinning as well as promote growth. It also increases circulation in the scalp, leading to healthy and strong hair growth. They have antibacterial properties that is going to help prevent infections. So just a handful a day is going to help prevent infections infections on your scalp. I wanted to quickly tell you guys another way that you can add collagen to your diet. You guys know how much I love collagen and how I low-key think it's a game changer when it comes to the health of our hair and just hair growth in general. I'm excited to share with you this collagen by Bellway. It's been a little more challenging for me to get my collagen in because for some reason I just haven't been into drinking hot drinks lately like at all and all of your typical collagens you have to put in a hot drink. Well Bellway is here to save the day because you just have to add this to cool water. Like honestly, where has this been all my life? You add one to two scoops to your glass and then you just want to add the water. Not too cold, not too hot, stir and enjoy. You want to drink it right away because it will start to thicken up if you let it sit too long. This is also high in fiber, so you're going to have a healthier gut. If you have issues going to the bathroom, they got you covered, you're less bloating, improved heart health, feel fuller, healthier skin and hair. You guys know collagen is the go-to for increased hair growth and it would be a good add-on to your routine. So I will leave a link down below and all the information on how you can get your hands on this collagen by Belle. And when you do end up picking up, let me know how you like it. So I've sent some emails, did a little working out, um, but yeah, I'm I'm ready to eat again. I put two pieces of bread in the oven with a little olive oil to get it nice and toasty. I have some avocado left for my dinner the other night, so I'm gonna spread that out, ignore the color. I left it out a second too long, you know how that goes. We're going to make this fried egg really quickly and slap that on top with some chili flakes. Then on the second slice, I'm just going to be adding some sun-dried tomatoes. Eggs are full of protein, which is very important when it comes to the health of your hair. Eggs are going 
going to help boost the collagen production as well. We all know that as we get older, the amount of collagen that we have and produce become less and less. The collagen that surrounds the strands of our hair also breaks down, which makes the hair more vulnerable to breakage. So it's important to make sure that you're putting collagen back into your body and eggs are a great way to start doing that. They're also packed with vitamins A, D, zinc, and B vitamin, which is known as biotin and we all know helps your hair grow. Avocados contain vitamin B and E, which work to protect and strengthen your hair. Vitamin B helps to promote growth and vitamin E protects your scalp and prevents dryness. Avocados can help prevent hair loss as well. So this next meal is kind of like a large snack slash fake lunch. Guys, I usually eat like two meals a day. I'll eat a late breakfast and dinner and then like something for dessert. So me being in the kitchen, honestly, all day, I just, mm -mm, it ain't for me. <laughs> but okay, so we have some carrots, jalapenos, red bell peppers, cucumbers, and avocado. And we're going to boil these rice sticks. It takes all of three minutes. I've wanted to make these for the longest because I've had these wraps for forever. So I'm excited to try these out. So you have to dip the wrap in the water and then you just load it up with whatever you like. I know I've mentioned before that I've been a pescatarian for about three years now. So the only meat I eat is fish. I don't even eat shellfish like that. But this is a great time that you can add protein to the mix as well. So maybe chicken or shrimp even. Definitely add cilantro to the list too. I just didn't currently have it, but it definitely takes this meal snack to the next level. I'm stacking all of my ingredients in and I'm also going to be adding some rice sticks on top. Make sure that you're adding your salt, very necessary. Well, then you just wanna roll it up like you would a burrito and also make sure that you're not over stuffing it cause they will rip pretty easily. Don't get it twisted. I definitely went back and made more than three. I'm dipping this in a Thai chili sauce on this plate, the things that are going to be most beneficial to our hair is surprisingly bell peppers. They're high in vitamin C, triple the amount than oranges, as well as a great source of fiber. We already touched on the body using vitamin C to produce collagen and so on and so forth. Carrots are rich in vitamin A and will make your hair stronger, longer, and thicker. They help in improving blood circulation and apparently they prevent the growth of gray hairs. They also contain a lot of antioxidant along with vitamin C. We already spoke on the benefits of avocado, so we're going to conclude our eating festivities for the day with salmon for dinner with a little bit of spinach and a sweet potato on the side. Fatty fish like salmon have nutrients that can promote healthy hair growth. It's packed with healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So our body doesn't naturally produce these healthy fats, so you have to either get them from food or supplement. The thing is, your body needs them to help your hair grow and keep it shiny and thick, but overall, it just helps keep your body healthy in general. Spinach is full of amazing nutrients. It has tons of vitamin A, iron, folate, beta carotene, and vitamin C. Combined, they work together to leave you with a healthy head of hair. It's going to keep it nice and moisturized. You can also get these results when you eat kale as well. Overall, leafy greens are just a great addition to your diet. Lastly, like spinach, sweet potatoes are packed with a good antioxidant called beta carotene. Your body turns it into vitamin A. Again, this is going to help protect against dry and dull hair. It aids your scalp in producing an oil-like fluid called sebum. That keeps your hair from drying out and it's just gonna keep it healthy. Okay, so that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for hanging out and eating with me today. I will leave any links down below that I think will be beneficial to you, especially the collagen by Bellway, so make sure you guys check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and like always, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next